You know, in a world where lions wear the crown and tigers steal the spotlight, jaguars are often left in the shadows. But make no mistake, pound for pound, they have the strongest bite force of any big cat. So why don't more people talk about them? Maybe it's because jaguars are like ghosts, silent, elusive and gone before you even know they were there. But every ghost has a story, a story that began millions of years ago alongside saber-toothed cats and mammoths, a story shaped by migrations, giant megafauna and battles for survival through ice ages and extinctions. Today, jaguars are still fighting, not just for prey, but for space and for a future in a world that keeps closing in. So today, let's talk about jaguars, let's follow their footsteps through time and through the jungle to understand how they became the ultimate ambush predator and the true king of the jungle. The story of the jaguar begins tens of millions of years ago, long before the rainforests of the Amazon were born. Its ancestors roamed ancient forests and plains alongside some of the most formidable creatures of the Miocene. Predators like the saber-toothed cats and early bears, as well as giant herbivores such as Denophyrium and Gomphotherium, both relatives of modern elephants. But we are still far from the mighty genus Panthera, which includes lions, tigers, leopards, snow leopards and of course the jaguar. Fossil and genetic evidence suggests that the first Panthera cats evolved in Asia around 4 to 6 million years ago, likely descending from a common ancestor such as Panthera blighta. From there, they spread outward across continents, with one lineage crossing the Bering Land Bridge into the Americas during the Pleistocene Epoch. In the Americas, this lineage gave rise to a formidable predator. These early jaguars were about 15 to 20 percent larger than their modern counterparts. Some weighed up to 200 kilograms or 440 pounds. These jaguars on steroids were well suited for hunting the megafauna that populated prehistoric landscapes including massive camelids, giant peccaries and tortoises, and perhaps even scavenging on mammoths. Around 500,000 years ago, jaguars expanded into South America, entering a continent still dominated by giant herbivores, including ground slots the size of elephants and glyptodonts. But at the end of the Pleistocene, everything changed. As just the planet was warming, around 12,700 years ago, there was a sudden cold snap known as the Younger Dryas, where temperatures dropped around 3 degrees Celsius or 5 degrees Fahrenheit over North America and by as much as 10 degrees Celsius or 18 degrees Fahrenheit in Greenland, all within just a few decades, which led to the extinction of many giant species. Around that time, the Clovis culture emerged and spread rapidly across North America. Named after their distinctive stone spirit points, first discovered near Clovis, New Mexico, these early humans were skilled big game hunters. They pursued massive animals, some of which may also have been prey for jaguars. This has led some to believe that early humans contributed to the extinction of the megafauna. Others argue that human activity alone wasn't enough to cause such a widespread collapse. Some theories even suggest a massive flood that disrupted ocean currents, while others propose that a comet impact on the ice sheets triggered the sudden climate shift. Scientists aren't 100% sure, but regardless, jaguars survived. However, the disappearance of their giant prey forced them to adapt, hunting smaller animals and changing their behavior. Over time, this pressure likely led to a reduction in body size. But even though the giants of the past are gone, the jaguars we have today are no less extraordinary. The jaguar that survived into modern times is a master of its domain. It evolved short, stocky limbs and a powerful frame, perfect for stalking through thick underbush and ambush prey. These muscular limbs also allow jaguars to climb trees and drag prey that can weigh hundreds of pounds. And, unlike most big cats, jaguars are excellent swimmers. They frequently hunt aquatic animals such as fish or even larger reptiles such as caiman and even anacondas. This is footage of a female jaguar from Colombia named Totin hunting a 6-meter anaconda. Jaguars are also known by their iconic coat. A jaguar's coat has different colors, but they are usually golden yellow with black spots. Leopards have a similar coat, but there are distinct differences in their patterns. 
Jaguars have large rosettes with spots inside, while leopards have smaller rosettes and have no spots in the middle. But what about black jaguars, the so-called black panthers? Well, panther isn't actually a separate species, it's just a name for melanistic big cats. Let me explain. Melanism is a mutation that causes an excess of the dark pigment melanin, making fur, skin, scales or feathers darker than normal, sometimes even completely black. But if you look closely, especially under good lighting, wait, let me fix that quickly, and there we go. Can you see the rosettes? Pretty cool, huh? Melanism is a dominant trait in jaguars, which means just one copy of the gene is enough for melanism to show up, while in lepers both parents need to carry it. Funnily enough, melanistic jaguars seem to be more prevalent in closed tropical forests versus open habitat. This may be because a darker coloration may also offer evolutionary advantages, like improving camouflage in dense forests, which is ideal for stalking prey in low light. When close enough, they can chase their prey using their short burst speed up to 80 km per hour, or they can leap from trees, landing on top of their prey and delivering the strongest bite of any big cat. The jaguar isn't just the largest cat in the Americas, it's also the one with the strongest bite of any big cat relative to its size, which means pound for pound, no other feline bites harder. Because of its wide skull and strong jaw muscles, a jaguar can bite down with more than 1500 psi of force, that's strong enough to puncture skulls and pierce directly into the brain, crack through the thick shells of turtles and bite through armored prey like caimans. Jaguars probably developed this skull biting technique because their ancestors lived in an environment full of tough armored prey. But times have changed. Today, jaguars prey on deer, peccaries, capybara, caiman, monkeys and tapir. Jaguars once roamed nearly every country in the Americas south of Canada, but today they survive in only about half of their historical range, mostly in Brazil, concentrated in the Pantanal region. Like many other animals, jaguars are under threat from habitat loss and poaching. Their teeth, for example, can sell for as much as $219 to $440 on the black market. As forests are cleared for farming and cattle ranching, jaguars are forced into smaller, more isolated areas. This fragmentation not only limits their space, but also reduces their chances of finding mates, which is especially worrying given their already low genetic diversity. All these pressures have contributed to jaguars being listed as a near-threatened species. When forests are replaced by pasture land, jaguars may turn to livestock for food. This can spark retaliation from ranchers who may kill to protect their animals. But despite these challenges, there's still hope. Conservation programs across Latin America are helping reconnect broken habitats with wildlife corridors to ensure gene flow between populations and teaching local communities how to live alongside jaguars. Scientists are also learning more about these elusive cats by using camera traps and tracking their movements and covering valuable information that could help protect their future. Jaguars survived extreme climate shifts, a megafauna extinction and the rise of human civilizations. From its prehistoric migration into the Americas, to its reign over jungles and wetlands, the jaguar story is one of resilience and adaptation. It once hunted enormous ground slots and now gives caimans an everlasting headache. They remain the only Pantera species native to the Americas and a symbol of wild, untamed power. Whether these beautiful cats continue to roam the Americas in centuries to come depends on us, on the choices we make, about the forest we protect, the animals we coexist with and the world we want to leave behind. If we choose wisely, perhaps the roar of the jaguar will echo through the wild places of the Americas for generations to come, reminding us that in the heart of the jungle, one ruler remains, the true king of the jungle.